Escape from Targum has been a game that I've been playing for about five years now. I mean, I've seen the highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows, and I do have a lot of faith in what Battle State Games has put into the gaming industry. However, Escape from Tarkov also happens to be the one game that encapsulates the genre of extraction shooters. However, dealing with cheating and countless raids, latency issues, as well as disconnects, I've looked to make a more tailored experience for myself in the world of Tarkov. Now, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to see where I'm going with this, but single-player Tarkov has been something I've been dabbling in for the better part of a year. On occasion, I do still play online Tarkov, but those crushing blows seem to have happened more and more often with all of those issues still at hand, and that's when I turn to single-player. Escape from Tarkov has such an enjoyable experience within SPT, progression usually feels natural, no rush to look around every nook and cranny, and you can explore the map with no fear of being pushed by some Giga Chad. Needless to say, single player Tarkov is a breath of fresh air, and for that I am thankful. With that out of the way, the game made by BSG is revolutionary. It's even sparked an incredible community made of mod teams and small developers working super hard to make the game an even better game to play. And it's been one of the most enjoyable gaming experiences I've ever had. The thrill of having air support is one of my favorite mods. Whether mortar fire, or maybe you just need an A10 Warthog to provide you with clear vision when you approach from the east side of customs. It does feel a little overpowered, but it does go a long way for my immersion. No longer do I have to fear about finding an extract, I can just always call one to me. One of my favorite things about single player Tarkov is the use of having other traders and levels of missions going a long way with progression. Repeatable quests so you never have to worry about gear fear ever again adds a beautiful gateway to just enjoy the game and goof off. I even have a mod that allows me to stay in a raid for more than 8 hours fighting hordes of PMCs, cultists, boss waves, and scavs. Tailoring your own adventure to the world of Tarkov makes a huge difference to the game and it allows the RPG elements to shine. Allowing your character actually level up along with the enemy has a huge difference and a shift in gameplay for me. You can get the power fantasy you've been wanting for so long. Become the boss of the level. The only true single player experience and downfall is just being alone. But with mods and some ingenuity, you can create an experience where you feel like you can take on the entire lobby, even if they have a trio waiting for you around a corner. The gameplay of SP Tarkov takes out the competitiveness and the grind, and it gives you a chance to enjoy what Tarkov has to offer. The missions always have felt gritty, but with custom quests you can get a nice variety of how the world really works when the lights go out. Truthfully, I hope SPT and EFT never stop. I always hope they keep going. This game has so much potential to be something amazing, and it's only going up from here. So for those that are scared to dabble into SP Tarkov, I would say give it a shot if you're really interested. For those of you that are diehard on the online portion, I really hope it gets better. But for now, I'll be playing single player for a little while longer. And uh, until then, I'll see you next time.